How about now? I don't know why I'm echoing either. Am I echoing? I've been talking for three minutes to myself. Okay, so let me start over. <laughs> um, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Um, uh, let me start over and just speak to the people because, uh, yeah, uh, three minutes I've been talking. I wouldn't nobody heard me. E Money, welcome in, King Carbon Q, welcome in, Queen RX Nails, welcome in, Queen D Stacks. Welcome in, King. Cynthia Living with MS. Welcome in, Queen. Making with Marilyn. Thank you, Queen, for being here. Shirley Dabney. Always Tam Tam. Odom's Homestead. Um, who am I missing? Okay, we good now. No echo. Late Night Crafting with Stacy. Welcome in, Queen. So I was just saying that today I'm going to be making a wig. I know some of the men are not going to stay, but if you want your wives to see this, if they need this, I don't know, maybe, you know, somebody in your family may need this. You can share this out um, with a hot glue gun. So I am putting a disclaimer. Um, use the hot glue gun at your own discretion. It's hot. It will burn you. I am not responsible. Unbiased LLC is not responsible for that. Um, so... I would like to thank everybody for being here today. I am standing up because I got to get over there to start the process, but I wanted to at least y'all see my face because while I'm working, you won't be able to see my face. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> Ellie Zark, am I saying that right? Hey, Queen. I don't, I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but either way, I appreciate you, Queen, for being here. Um, so today is Sunday, November the 13th, 2022. And I just wanted to come on live and show you guys my process. And I also was saying there are a lot of videos on YouTube about this. Um, this is just the way that I do things. So um, hopefully you guys will learn something from this video. If you need this service, I don't know. But anywho, we will get started. And let me change the camera. So I have two different cameras, but I think I'm going to just use one. We just going to go with the one. So y'all welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. And I apologize for the, um, I apologize for the sound not working when we first started. But y'all, as y'all know, every time you go live is always something. So let me show you guys. This is my mannequin. Let me know if this, if the lighting is too bright. Vision Prince Gaming, welcome in, King. Yaya's best life, hey Queen. Happy monetization day. Yes, yes, yes. If y'all missed that, y'all need to go check it out. Yaya got them dollars, baby. Okay. Okay, so this is my mannequin, and y'all do not laugh at my mannequin. She has been through, she has been through some stuff. Okay, she's been through some stuff, but she still works for me. And just about everything that I'm using on this wig today is listed in the description box of this video. You can go and check those items out if you need them. Okay. If it's something that I use and I did not list it and you need help finding that, let me know. But y'all do not talk about my baby. I do want to let you guys know that some people will and will not tell you that a mannequin head to do wigs need to be 12 inches. So you need to make sure that you find the... Um, the size on the mannequin and you need 12 inches because a lot of people just buy the first thing that they see and it's 11 inches. Okay. And that's why some of y'all wigs don't fit. So that's just one step one tip. Number one, whatever. This is just some paper that I have on her head because I'm using a hot glue gun and I don't want the hot glue to melt through the cap onto the styrofoam head. 
So I just put a piece of paper to make a barrier, okay? You, you want to try to get this as flat as possible. However, it's paper, so it will crinkle up. But hopefully when we put the cap on, it'll it'll come down just a little bit. Um, so let me say this too. Okay, so this is the kind of stocking cap that I use. And I use two. I use one brown, which is the color you see here. And then I also use a black stocking cap. So <clears throat> the reason I do that is because my scalp is this color, right? But um, when you mix the two, which is the black and the brown together. Okay, let me show you this. So this is the brown. And if I just use this brown by itself, you see how kind of white looking pale it looks? Okay, so pay attention to that. This is just a regular black stocking cap. So I'm going to put this one on first. And then I will put this one on as underneath. And y'all see how it changed the color? It gave it a darker tone. So this is the tone that I want my stocking cap to be. Not that pale looking brown. Because guess what? If my hair fly up just a little bit, People will think this is my real scalp. If I left it pale brown, they going to know I got a wig on, okay? And another tidbit for the stocking caps. You always want to see the seam of the stocking cap at the top. Do not, and I repeat, do not have your the seam of the stocking cap on top of your head like this. You don't want it like that. You want to be able to see the seam because what I have noticed is when you have a, a, um, a wig cap on and the seam is on top of your head, <clears throat> it gives you a headache and it also breaks your hair because you see how it's made is made in ridges and your hair will get stuck inside of this. So you want the inside to be up. So I need to turn this one inside out as well because this is the one that's actually going to be on top of my head. I hope that made sense to y'all. But you want both of your seams to be facing up when you put your stocking cap on. So you need two stocking caps. Whether you use two black ones, two brown ones, two whatever you use, just you need two. Crafty Leo, welcome in, queen. I see you. And I also have some T-pins. I have that listed in the description box as well. The reason why I like to use the T-pins is because they have those two brackets like on the side. And it helps to hold the stocking cap down while you're working. The light bright tonight. Is it too bright, Crafty Leo? Let me know. It's probably because I got the white background, but girl, ha <laughs> ha. Let me know. I may be able to, I don't know, probably put another piece of paper up there to hold it down. Um, so I also using this tinkle razor comb. This is when I get ready to um cut the hair down. This is what I use. To me, this is the best one. Oh, you can't see it. It's sturdy. And it's durable and they last. And then if you ever need to change your blades, you can. You just release it from the thing and put the blades in and change them around. There's always one this way and one on top of the other this way. I hope y'all can see that. Um, No, it's perfect. Oh, okay, queen. Okay, I'm just making sure. Okay, I got my rat tail comb. I have some scissors to cut the hair. I also use this, which is a eyebrow pencil razor. This thing will cut the sideburns perfect, perfectly, because it has a guard. And so you cannot, when I say you cannot, 
you cannot go too deep because it have it has a guard on this um eyebrow pencil razor thingy or whatever um so this is the brand of hair that i'm using today which is femi and it's 100 human hair now i went and i went grab a whole bunch of different hair because i didn't want to open up a brand new pack being that i sell hair in my hair shop so i went and i found whatever hair i could find of this brand to do this wig okay and so these are my colors for today i'm going to have mostly black and then i thought i would throw in some holiday colors honey for thanksgiving because i'm gonna put this wig on for y'all when i'm done today um so i did a burgundy and i did like a, a crisp brown okay so they will have it be three colors and since I did um, go find hair, <laughs> I also got this hair just in case I needed it. Just in case. It'll be a fill-in. So I'll start with the short hair first, which is the 28 piece. Um, and then if not, if I don't have enough, I'll fill it in with this, which is eight inches. But of course, we'll just have to cut it. Okay. Cooking with Net TV. Welcome in, Queen mtgv tv welcome in queen you see i didn't stutter okay okay <laughs> um i got that down girl so then i got my glue sticks right here you will also need some type of spray uh whether it's a water bottle um or whatever but you just need just plain plain jane water is nothing nothing in here okay and then do not talk about my glue my glue gun but because it'd be working but i got my glue gun all right so i used to use black glue sticks you can order them on amazon black glue sticks i just didn't have any more so we are going to use the white glue sticks today and you can do this with that okay so the first thing we will have to do, like I said about our caps, and I'm going to put them on one by one so you guys can see. You see my, this is my, um, my seam. This is called the seam of the stocking cap. So I'm just going to put this on. Hey, six bows is back. Welcome in, queen. I'm going to put this one on first. Oh, for the ones that's coming in, I just have paper, uh, just a piece of paper on top of this. Just so the phone, the styrofoam does not get caught up in my stocking cap. Because it's nothing like hot gluing something and you walking around with styrofoam underneath your wig. Okay. So I'm going to put both of these stocking caps on. And let me turn her to the front so you guys can see where I'm stopping it. Hold on. Let me get this to come down just a little bit if i can oh shoot i just tore my paper okay i'm gonna just i want it to be on the paper so i'm gonna just stop right there but i probably will have to um do something different on the back so i'm gonna take my t pen and i'm gonna just stick it on this side for right now because i need to put the other cap on top and I will pull both of these down at the same time, okay? So y'all can see the seam is sticking up. This is the way you want it on top. Do not turn your cap the other way. You want the seams away from your hair, okay? From your natural hair, rather. Or your natural scalp, because some of us, you know, we have hair problems. So we don't have hair on top, but you do not want them seams up there it's just like sleeping on the wrong side under the wrong side of the cover it gives you a headache all right so i'm just going to fix this cap and align it with my black cap and then i'm going to take my pen and pull these both of these down at the same time okay and then I'm just going to pin it to keep it still. 
I'm going to do the other side. Hey, educated natural, welcome in, queen. I don't know how I missed your name, but I did. I see E-Money speaking to you, so I know you in the half. All right, so I'm pulling both of these down at the same time, and then I'm going to look at the front of my lady because I want this and this to be at the same interval. I don't know why she's leaning. Okay, maybe this just the camera. I don't know. Look like she's leaning to the side. And then I'm just going to pin it. Now I'm going to go to the back. So I'm going to take both of these caps, the black and the brown, and I'm going to pull them down while holding the top because I need these caps to come down. This is where the neckline is on my mannequin. So this is where my, my cap needs to be. Okay, let me find a pin. And no, my nails are not done. So let's just, you know, clear the elephant in the room, honey. So I am pinning this side down. And then I need to get another pin. And then I'm going to pin this other side down. And make sure you're grabbing both of your caps. You need them to be, you need them to be underneath. And the key is having this even. Can y'all see that? The key is to have the back of your neck to be even across. Then I'm going to fix and maneuver the front. I just want my caps to, to line up. I think I'm going to have to get another piece of paper. Hold on, y'all. Let me... Only because it's not enough paper in this front area. So I'm going to just stick it underneath. Just make sure y'all cut y'all out enough. I just, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I did or didn't and, it, and I just messed it up or what. But anywho, I want this to come down. So. Okay, so let me get a pin and I'm going to stick this. So this, this front pin needs to be in the center of the nose. Why? So you can know where your center front is on your wig. That's a cheat sheet, okay? And then I also, oh, I forgot my pen. Let me show y'all. I do take my pen. Um, or marker or whatever you have that you can see through. Hold on, y'all. I'm making too much noise. Okay. I forgot about the pen. I'm so sorry. And this is just if you don't know where your ears are on your mannequin or on your head. Okay. That's why I say 12 inch mannequin heads is what you need y'all do not be laughing at my my baby because she dirty but she be working hey tay weasley welcome in king um so from my center point nose right here this is how i measure mine now everybody may be different and you could try it if you want okay so you take the center point of and put your middle finger right there and then you just put your hand out just like this center point hand out finger or thumb out and this should be where your ear lies on your head so where it lies on your head is where you want this to be on the mannequin the reason why you want to mark this is because the hair goes around the ear you don't go all the way down on this side. 
I know my ear is not that small, so I'm going to just make it just a little bit bigger, okay? And honestly, I almost pinned it exactly where it needed to be. That's only because I've been doing this for so long, right? So I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side. And this is where my ear should be on this side. And so... I'm just checking to make sure that it's leveled. And this is actually a little higher. Okay, I got it now. Don't ask me why it changed, but it did. Maybe because my ear is cray cray on one side. <laughs> I don't know. Marilyn, did it work? <laughs> Let me know if it worked. <laughs> Let me know if it worked. I want to know. Let me know if I know what I'm kind of talking about. Somebody tell me. I'm waiting. Because I'm watching the comments. I'm trying to see. I did it for real. Come on, Stacy. Did it work? Let me know if it worked. Okay, and so on the back of the neck, you see how this is lined up perfect? This is where you, this is how you want this to be. The key to any um, sew ins, glue ins, whatever ends, do not. Yes, it worked. I know, girl. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for clarifying that, baby. Um, do not put anything on this edge. I repeat, don't glue nothing, don't sew nothing, don't do nothing on this edge, which is the rim of the stocking cap. You don't put nothing down here, okay? Sleazy? Oh, Stacy. Hey, Heather. Welcome in, queen. Okay, and y'all, I also bought in some regular hair glue just in case we needed it. But my um, hot glue gun has been getting hot. And so let me just look at this hair and see which one is the shortest of the bunch. And that way we can um, we can get started. Okay. And I know I'm talking my way through and I did say quick. But if you're doing a tutorial and you're talking, of course, it's going to be, you know, a little longer than normal. Okay, and I meant to say longer, and I'm going to tell y'all why I like to use the longer pieces in the back. So this one is long, and this is short. These are short, and this is long. Okay, so let's get started. And even though I said the hair was used, I've never used it. I just maybe used, it for, used some of the other hair for something else, and I had all this left over, okay? Can you just do it for me? <laughs> yep, I sure can. Sharonda, the goodness, the goddess. I'm sorry, because I'm, I'm away from the computer, but I can't see your name. Hey, welcome in, queen. If I missed anybody, I apologize. I can't really see the chat, but I can see the chat, okay? Thank you for coming in, Sharonda. Y'all, this has some little... Um, twist ties on it so i'm just taking it apart okay so the first thing you want to do is measure your first piece okay remember do not put anything down here you want to go right above it right above it right above it and y'all i'm gonna just keep turning it just so i can see your edge at the bottom needs to have a curve I don't know if y'all going to be able to see it, but do not go straight across. Curve this just a little bit. Go straight and then make a little U-curve on the other side. I hope that made sense. Y'all know I don't know how to really explain a lot of things. I just know how to do it. 
it lays so good in the back when you place the longer piece. There you go, Sharonda. Okay, I know you. I see you know what you're talking about, girl. Okay, so here we go. Disclaimer again. Use your high glue gun at your own discretion. Unbiased LLC is not telling you what to do or nothing. Just, you know, because this stuff gets hot and it burns. And I'm just lining this across. And the good thing about the hot glue is you don't need a lot. And so I normally put at least four long pieces at the bottom for at least four. It just depends on how thick or thin the hair is, okay? How thick or thin. Elizabeth Brown, welcome in, queen. So depending on how you like your hair, if you like it thick, you know, or you like it thin, that is, this is all up to you because guess what? It's yours. You got to wear it. So you make it how you want. But just remember, do not go straight across in the back. You always need to have some form of a U-shape on the edges. And it's just for those four pieces, y'all. This My glue gun is trash. I need to get another one. Passionately Intrigued Arts told me about this other gun. I just got to get the money to get it. So as soon as I get the money, I'm going to buy it. And so normally what I do is put a little bit on the edge. Like once I get going. Like that. Let that sit for a second. And then I just use this um, mannequin head as my... I don't know where I can hold it, right? So I don't get glue on my hand because this stuff will burn the mess out of you if you're not careful. And always just try to run your hand across so that you can make sure that it adheres to the stocking cap, okay? Oh, I dropped my scissors. Hold on. And don't forget, y'all want to get close to the edge of the rim, but not on the rim. A lot of people don't tell y'all in these videos, but that's why y'all uh, stocking caps be shrinking. But y'all know unbiased is unbiased, baby. I'm giving all, I'm giving it all to you, okay? So just put a little bit. Find your placement where you want it. Let it get on there and be tight a little bit. And then you're going to um, put the glue on the rest of it. This just helps to hold the hair in place while you put in the glue. Because everybody knows hot glue dries fast. Okay, so this is what we have looking like so far. This is only three. So I'm, I'm going to do one more because, look, if I start cutting on this, you see how thin this is? You can see straight through it. So I'm going to do one more layer. Ruthie's this and that and family welcome in, queen. And don't, don't y'all don't really have to worry about the glue because once I comb this, all of the whatever is sticking out, it will it will come off. So don't worry about the glue being in the hair. Just don't get like globs. Don't get like globs of glue in the hair because then your hair will be stuck together and you really don't want that, okay? 
And look, so when I cut this, I have this little piece left. I use these little pieces for the sideburns. You can use whatever you have left for the sideburns. I'm sorry, my hand all in the way. And I did this one backwards some kind of way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I did it backwards because I should have started over here so I could see the glue, the track. But it's okay. I'm right-handed. So sometimes I need stuff to be done. It looks backwards, but it's really not. The main thing is you want the glue to be on those edges so you kind of want it in the middle and on the edges sweet read welcome in queen if i missed anybody in the chat i apologize i'm really like not looking at the chat but i'm looking at the chat <laughs> like i'm just going back and forth at the chat okay so then what i do is i come and i start working on this side just so that I can start going all the way around. I don't have to keep cutting small pieces of hair. Because you see, I have enough now in the back. See how it's kind of covering up? So this right here is good for me. I'm good with that. So now I'm going to just take my hair and I'm going to try to go all the way around to the other side with this one track, one piece of hair. Coach Mary, my welcome in, Queen. Miss T with the T. Are you making this wig for someone in particular or just for fun? I'm making it for me, um, Miss T with the T. I'm going to wear it for Thanksgiving, I think. Because my hair needs to be redone and I haven't let my daughter retwist it. So I think I'm going to wear this wig for Thanksgiving. Okay, so this is my ear. But I want to go up towards this the edge of the eye right here this is the edge of the eye so i want to start this track at the edge of the eye but remember don't glue anything on this band right here because you're gonna be in trouble okay so and i see hold on i see the, i think this black cap is a little smaller Then my brown one. Okay, so this would be considered the edge. Y'all see I left it out right here so you can see. Don't glue anything on this edge. So the bottom of the eye, it starts like right here. And then I'm going to just go all the way around. Oh, and it depends on how you want your hair to lay. I'm doing mine like this because I like for my hair to flow towards the front. If you want your hair to go down, well, then your hair will be straight across all the way, all the way up, right? If you like for your hair to be going towards the back, what I suggest you do is have one to two pieces like this and then start doing them straight all the way like this at an angle kind of like towards the top because the way you lay your hair is the way it's going to flow so you have to think about what you like and what you want i like for mine to flow like this like this and towards the, and then down in the back so I'm going to place my hair to where when I put it in, everything comes to the front. Okay. I forgot to mention that. So it just depends on how you like it. You will have to get your own pattern down so that you can see how you like your hair to be. Okay. Thank you, Coach Mary Ma. I appreciate that, Queen. Wait, somebody said, 
Hold on. Let me see. I missed the comment. Today must be the day of fixing wigs. My daughter is ironing out her wig for Thanksgiving right now. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I just, um, I hadn't done a video on wig making. I noticed that on my channel. And so I was like, well, I'm going to just do that today. Because your girl need watch hours. So, y'all, this is where my ear is going to be. I'm going to go above that. And that's another reason why you use the longer hair. So, y'all see how I made that curve? And then I'm going to come back down. And then I'm going to just take this all the way around. And this is messy. It gets messy. But it's durable. And these wigs, I can tell you, you can shampoo them, you can style them, you can cut them, and they last as long as you maintain them. Um, you can wear this wig every day and taking it on and off, I would say anywhere between three to six months. Will you have some hair get loose? Yes, at some point in time, because the more you comb, brush, and whatever, it will start loosening up. So I suggest if you're able to finger comb the hair, do that. If you can just finger comb it and put it in place, I suggest you do that. Um, Because like I say, the more you, um, it's just like your scalp, the more you scrape it, dandruff come up, right? So the more you scrape and comb this, it will start lifting. But you are able to shampoo this hair, this wig, and still use it. Just let it dry. That's all you got to do. I do not suggest you do blow drying because it's hot glue gun. You don't want to reheat the glue. But you can shampoo it and let it sit and air dry. You can do that. Okay, so now we're coming up to the front. So we're going to stop at the bottom of this. I, oh, I want to move this cap just a little bit, y'all. Hold on. Because I do not want to glue on the rim of either one of these caps. And so we are at the bottom of the eye, and I'm going to cut this part off. I can use this for a bang. And I'm going to tell y'all why I did not go all the way around. is because I don't want the chili bowl look. If you go from one, like all the way around to the front, you will have what they call like a mushroom look. And that's not what I'm going for, so... I'm going to use this part. I'm going to keep this for the bang. Rinse and reuse, baby. Rinse and reuse. So I normally like to have two long pieces on my sideburns just so I can fill it in or make it look like it's filled in. So we're just going to go around and start all over again and do the same exact thing. The same exact thing. It's just a repeat process until you reach the top. I'm going to check the chat in just a second. Let me see if I missed anybody. Lena Doyle Crafting, welcome in, Queen. I see you. Jerry Talk, welcome in, King. 
Did I miss anybody in the chat? If I did, I, I apologize, but welcome in. And so you want the sideburns to be close, like almost right on top of each other when you put it when you put it on. Because if the wind blow, you try not to see the scalp or the cap, which is pretending to be your scalp. <laughs> so that's very important. This hair is wild because it's, it's been in a drawer, so it's just sticking up all over the place. And I didn't comb it down, so it's just being weird. that sounding like it was echoing am i echoing queen you echoing yep i don't know why i don't know why it just did that all of a sudden welcome in big rooster am i still echoing i have a slight echo i don't know why y'all so I'm not going to talk too much because I don't want this live to be cray-cray. I don't know. Y'all just watch me. If I get to a point that I need to tell you about, I will say something. Okay? Oh, okay, Heather. It's not distracting. Okay. I don't want to run y'all off. I don't know why it's doing that. And so this one, when you do this, the top part, you want to overlap the bottom one just a little bit, not too much. You want it to overlap just a little bit. Do y'all see that? It's a little bit longer than this, the one at the bottom. See, I keep hearing it, and I don't know where it's coming from. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. I appreciate you, Queen. And your um, channel review was awesome. Um, I think that if you take Miss V up on some of her, oh, and I'm sorry, that's just my opinion, Queen. Just my opinion. Uh, you don't have to do what I'm, you know, what I'm suggesting either. But um, I think if you take Miss V up on some of her offers, as far as changing your channel, it will help you tremendously. You have a great story to tell, and I'm sure you're going to be able to help somebody. That's going through the same things that you're going through. Y'all, I hear it again, and I don't know what's going on. I don't have nothing else planned. I mean, I do have this. Y'all think it's my other cell phone? The volume is gone. The volume is down. You welcome Elizabeth. And one other thing that Miss V didn't mention that I will mention to you, if I can, I think that it would be a great idea if you would um, add something to your name. Elizabeth Brown is so hard to find. So if you can add, you know, 
whatever you choose i don't know you know um if you want your middle initial somebody's middle initial um maybe they you have a nickname you can put that in parentheses you need to be able to decipher yourself from the million other elizabeth browns on youtube that's just my tidbit Try not to make it too long, but see if you can figure out what you can add to your name so that people can find you faster. Um, because if you're not in their chat or on their lives or come in on their videos, it's hard to find you. See, Miss T is saying the same thing. She's saying that it's hard to find our friend at Elizabeth Brown, but I try to support her whenever I find her. Exactly. Um, Elizabeth, I don't know what you could change it to. Like, what do you like? I know you like crossword puzzles and you like games and, um, you know, that type of thing. So maybe you could think of something like that. I'm not sure. It could even be... A lot of people say don't do the numbers, but at least if we knew, you know, 1970, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You need to think of something. You can put like the name of your town, your city, your state, your somebody else's middle name. I'm, I don't know. Somebody y'all help her out. The Life and Journey of Elizabeth Brown. I like that. It's kind of long, but it will get people to know who you are when they're looking for you. Brittany's Life. Welcome in, Queen. And I am not an expert on YouTube, y'all. I'm not an expert. I just know when I'm looking for people, some people's names just don't pop up fast. And, you know, you want people to find you, not search 500 hours looking for you. You see like how Coach Mary Ma, she got M-A-H. She could have did mama, mother, mom. You know, she changed it up. And so, you know, it's only one coach, Mary Ma. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth Brown always winning is what Crafty Leo is saying. So, y'all, when I finish this one, I'm going to the shorter hair. I said I was only going to do two layers, but I ended up doing three because I'm running my mouth. But it's okay. No big deal. And then I'm just going to cut this for what I needed. Save your pieces. Let me try to hurry up so I can get mo get this done. That's your real name, Coach Mary? Oh, well, that's even better. That's even better, Queen. I like it, though. I like it. That's, that's awesome. Like, I mean, and that makes it better because it is you, but I thought you did it for YouTube, honey. But <laughs> no, no, no. I was going like this. I was going like this. I was going like this. <laughs> no, Heather, you good. I mean, you good um, because it's Heather Hunter. Like, you're not just Heather Johnson. 
because I think that that would be hard to find. But um, I can find you. I don't know about nobody else. Maybe you should ask the people in the chat if you should change your name. Okay, y'all. So see, this is the shorter piece. I'm going to use this from now on until I reach the top. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to just be going duh, 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 all the way around like that. So let me um take the... It, I'm still echoing. I don't know why. I added coach because there were several Mary... Ma oh, wow. Okay. I did not know that coach Mary Ma. Elizabeth Get Down Brown. There you go. That's what 755 call her. Oh, and another thing, I'm sorry, I forgot about, not forgot, but just forgot to mention. Y'all keep 755 Media in y'all prayers. She is, um, she's not feeling well right now. I was saying that in the beginning of the video, but remember for three minutes, I wasn't talking. And I just forgot to re-mention it. So I apologize. But uh, yeah, we keep it 755 in our prayers. All right, so now we're going to start with this. And in, in from here, you could kind of skip a little, like a little finger. I'm going to show y'all in just a second. Because you don't want um, a ton of hair. You don't want this to look thick. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with this section. Hold on. And you just going from one side to the other. And I don't know why they chose to say quick weaves because nothing about this is ever quick, ever. And I've done it different ways with the regular glue, with the hot glue, with the you name it, glue. <laughs> and it's never quick for me. EB play to win. <laughs> well, Elizabeth, by the time you leave from here today, honey, you'll know. You'll have you something. Crafty Leo, you better not. Oh, wait, what she did? I'm about to stop cooking. Oh, no, you're not. Y'all know that's a lie. Y'all know that's a lie. Shout out to the 28 people in the chat. I appreciate you guys for being here. Y'all, I'm doing this for watch time hours, but I did want to teach y'all something other than sewing and embroidery and like machines that you may not have. I'm sure everybody got a high glue gun. And if you wear wigs, I'm sure you got some extra weave somewhere. So you can, you can easily get this done. That's only because you're pregnant, Crafty, that it's hot in the kitchen. Once you have that baby, you'll be all right. Oh, how you going to cook and hold a baby at the same time? We got we to gotta, we gotta stay tuned for that. Y'all got to stay tuned for that. Come on, Heather. Thank you, Queen. I was going to give myself a time frame to do this, but when you teaching, it's hard to stick to the time. <laughs> Cooking was better with a baby on the hip, honestly. Oh, okay. So I guess y'all all cooking with love. 
Okay, so let me show y'all. Let me see. I might have to lean her up. So you see how you can see. Oh, you may not be able to see. Hold on. Oh, let's see. Let me take it off the stand. So you see how you can see just a little bit of the scalp. You see how I left almost one finger tip line in between. This is the four at the bottom. Then this one, right? And then this one, another gap. So you can leave a finger, a itch finger in between these other rows going towards the top. Okay. Because like I say, you don't want the hair to be bulky. Candy's hair, candy, and more. Welcome in, queen. Now, she knows about making weeds and stuff and stuff. So, if y'all haven't checked her out, y'all need to go check her out as well. She be doing some hairs over there, honey. And so, I'm going to just keep going. That's called like, um, what you call it? Um, oh, like thinning the hair without thinning the hair. If you put them so close together, it, they'll, it'll start being bulky. It'll be thick, thick, thick. So you want to kind of separate it, give it a little room to breathe. Miss Rochelle Vanderpool, welcome in, Queen. Big Rooster, are you uh, terrorizing the women in the chat today? What, 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 what's going on? Heather say, I am a Pandy's Peak. Yep. Oh, and I did want to say I this is my second glue stick already, and I haven't even finished. But I am using mini, I mean uh, the mini, the mini glue sticks. If you have a bigger, um, you know the the big glue sticks, you should you shouldn't have to use that many. Um, Heather, I do have membership. They, I just need to figure out queen how to get it released i think um if if y'all heard that the weightlifting geek had did a video on one of his tech tuesdays about having ineligible too many ineligible videos on your page because of the music or the content or what have you mine are due from shorts and so i have to go and clean that up in order for my membership to be released but you guys i'm i'm working on it it's just uh it's a lot of work when you doing everything by yourself but i appreciate you asking heather it's coming i promise you it's coming now i don't know how did i get to this long hair again i'm i done got mixed up hold on let me see okay this the one i need I hear that echo again. Okay, maybe it's because I have that Yeti cup close to my speaker. Hold on. Let me move that. I don't know. It's driving me crazy. I know that. And I let this dry because I got up. <laughs> I let that piece dry. Tori's brain game. Welcome in, King. Appreciate you for being here and stopping by. Because like I said, I know the men not going to stay long. But I appreciate you for coming in. But they do have men that do hair. So. And some men do hair better than women. Honestly. Honestly. 
I think it's because men will tell you, you know, like we'll see um, a picture in the magazine and be like, I want my hand like that. They'd be like, no, no, that ain't gonna look good on you. But a woman, you go to her and be like, I want my hair like that. You'll be like, okay, I'm going to see what I can do. I can get it close to, you know, something like that. But in the back of our minds, we like, no, sister, that's not going to work. But in order for not to hurt the woman's feelings, you don't tell her that it's not going to look good, right? You just kind of like try to give people what they want and what they ask for. But a man is going to give you his honest opinion. He's going to be like, no, no, your head ain't shaped like her head. Your hair texture is not like her hair. No, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. <laughs> oh, Ashy gang gang in the building. What's up, King? what's up what's up what's up so yes um educated natural if you don't mind queen can you drop the motivation from the weightlifting geeks channel because i want people to go over and look at the tech tuesdays if you need help with your youtube channel because he has been dropping some knowledge for us i learned something like i was saying um that i probably have too many um, copyright issues against my channel from the YouTube shorts that is um, blocking my membership, what have you, tab. He spoke about that the other day. I went and looked and I do have some ineligible videos. So now I just got to figure out what to do with them. Do I make them private or... Or what? What do I need to do? Thank you, Queen. And if um, if anybody, so let me see if y'all listening. If anybody, okay, wait, let me ask the Mize. Thank you, Mize, first of all, for being here. I appreciate you. Y'all want to work or y'all just want me to do this hair? Let me know. Y'all want to work or y'all want to just, y'all just want me to do the hair and be quiet? Let me know. So y'all, remember, this is where my pen is. So I know that my ear is somewhere right up in this area. I'm going to keep going across until I get to, I'm going to get close to this pen. And then I'll start bringing all my hair towards the side. So that's why you need guides because you'll know. No, don't stop talking. Okay, Queen. Okay. The mind's ready to work. Wait, Ashy Gang Gang, how you gonna tell Miss T that she gave you kind words and your girl over here talking about you? Did you see my head? Look, I ain't even do my hair, y'all. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Joe. I was just kidding. Um, whatever you decide. Okay, eat money. So this is what we're gonna do. Thank you, King. Um, if anybody wants a link drop because you need help with your channel, like um, you know, getting people to come to you to watch your videos, what have you, this is what we're gonna do today. Y'all paying attention. I want you guys to type the word in the chat. I see you, Joe. Don't be laughing at me. <laughs> Thank you, Pandy. I, pre I appreciate you, Queen. Have you ever done the, the high glue gun method? Yeah, Miss T, Miss T with the T come over here getting all the glory and the praise. Oh no, boo boo. Oh no. No, nah, I'm just playing. Y'all, that's my baby. That's my girl. That's my queen. I love her so much. Y'all seen her new lighting over there, baby? <laughs> yes. 
she's working it she did a lingerie um try on like was it last night Crafty Leo be on it, baby. She got them god dog on me um ears. Okay. Tell them crafty. Say I ain't playing with y'all. You got me over here cracking up. <laughs> Wait, girl, I gotta stir you up for that one. I gotta stir you up. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, so y'all see what my pen is right here. So I'm getting close to this side too. So I probably got one more row. One more row. Yes, queen, you listening, baby. You got it. You was on it. You was on it. You was on it. And then everybody followed. <laughs> They didn't have a clue what the heck I said. Y'all didn't have a clue what I said. Yes, Purple Patch Crew, baby. They don't understand. Okay, so the people that's getting their links dropped, they need help. They need your help. They need your help. Oh, y'all don't forget the lava thon is coming up November the 19th. Oh, that way I got to show y'all my face because I got something to say to the people in the chat because most of you guys are in the lava thon. Hold on. Let me turn this around. Guess what? I'm, I'm kind of upset at y'all because the lava thon is November the 19th. Last night, I took the time to go and read the list that Miss T with the T posted and also Motivation from the Weightlifting Geek posted about the Lava Thon for November the 19th. Today is November the 13th. And some of y'all don't even have a thumbnail. I suggest you go and make a thumbnail for the Lava Thon so that people can start sharing out your thumbnail so that you can get people to come to your live for the live thon Y'all need me to say that again? Yes, I'm fussing. Because I found three people that had a thumbnail. And if y'all go to my community page, y'all will see that I've already shared their thumbnail. I'm appalled at... Miss T with the T, and I'm also a part of motivation from weightlifting geek because neither one of y'all that's hosting the live thon have a thumbnail. I wait. So y'all need to be making y'all thumbnails tonight or at this very moment so that people can share your thumbnail to let people know that you're having a lava thon november the 19th okay rant over i love y'all okay back to what i was doing why are you dying miss t why are you dying Okay, Educated Natural, I got you. No, Crafty Leah, you cannot just sleep on your live queen. Mm. 
Yes. Why y'all laughing? It's not funny. That's not funny. It is not funny. Yes, I'm scolding y'all because, listen, we are trying to grow, okay? Do y'all know how many opportunities you may have missed by not having the thumbnail up already? Mine was posted ever since I told them I was going to be in the live thon, honey. I don't know if people shared it out, but it's been there. So y'all spread the word that y'all need to have a thumbnail up. Because just like the last live, live a I shared everybody's thumbnail to let people know that the live a was going on. Okay? Heather, I don't want to hear that. Your computer acting up. You welcome, Miss T. You are so welcome. And you welcome as well, Joe. And if anybody goes to Miss T with the T in the morning, <laughs> in the morning, she will just be putting her thumbnail up for coffee and conversation at 8.05 and she go live at 8.06. That's my baby though. That's my boo thing. Oh, your toes hurt. Joe was over there working out. I guess that's why your toes hurt. I got to go watch it, but I, I did see it pop up. Hashtag thumbnail. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because listen, y'all know everybody or just about everybody on YouTube that have, what is it, um, motivation from the weightlifting geek? Is it a um, hundred or 300 family members that they got a community tab? So we have a lot of people who could be sharing our stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm done with that. I ain't going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing else about it. <laughs> Miss T says she's laughing her ass off. Well, girl, you got to keep laughing because you got a big old arse. Okay. You would have to be laughing till next year to get rid of all that. Oh, because I stepped on your toes, Joe. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to step on your toes. I just was like, oh, my God. Nobody has a thumbnail. It was only like three of us that had a thumbnail. So, yes, I'm glad you all showed up today. This message was brought to you from Unbiased LLC to the live fun. <laughs> to the live of fun peeps. Okay, Tori. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go check. I, and it's gonna tell me when your when your thumbnail was made, too. If your thumbnail was just made today, then we're gonna fight. No, because you're gonna, I mean, we're gonna pray. That's what we're gonna do for Tori. Mr. Tory Brain Gang Dream Team in the building. Appreciate you, Heather. Love and live. Welcome in, Queen. 
I am using regular hot glue. Yes. Regular hot glue gun. Nothing special. See, I've been using it for crafts. Um, let me see. I'm missing something. Okay. Oh, so let me show y'all this too. But it really doesn't matter because it's at the it's at the bottom back part. But if you ever have to overlap, see how I ran out of hair right here? If you ever have to overlap the hair, don't butt it up against like this. Don't butt it up against there because when you start combing it, these both of these sides may or may not come loose. It just depends. The easiest thing for you to do is take the, the one that you need to add to it and put it, let me see, directly on top. Directly on top of this one. Like this. And then just keep going because this way it makes it look seamless so just in case your hair blows or whatever you don't see that split in the middle yes ruby yes it sure does high glue works for wigs too you can shampoo and do all what you do. You just don't want to comb a lot. So that's why you need like styles that you can finger comb after it's cut. If you cut it correctly, you should just be able to hot curl it once or twice and then finger comb the rest of the way. And like I said, y'all, don't worry about seeing the glue. Once you, once you comb that out, you won't see it. So... Y'all, look how wild this hair is it's getting all in my way. So I have got to my ear part because I can feel right here, right? I've gotten to the ear. So what I'm going to do now is start back going around. But I'm going to do my front Because I want to try to keep my hat, my cap even. If I do all the way around, all the way around, then all of this is going to be done. And this won't be done. And it'll be too, my cap will start shrinking on me. So if I can get some of this front done, it'll even out my cap. Why did you put, what did you put under the wig cap so you wouldn't get it stuck to the head? Paper. Piece of paper, love Liv. You hear it? Just a piece of paper. It's all the way to the back, too. Piece of paper. And I just tape this around just so it'll stay. But this don't this tape is not necessary. I just taped it because I cut it was too long. But it's just paper. And two wig caps black and brown or however you choose to do it too black to brown but i normally do black and brown because it just gives it a more natural um look than just the brown by itself you're welcome queen lenore i'm glad i seen your question because i i was looking at the um okay ruthie hey ruji welcome in queen All right, let me do the front. So I'm going to need my longer pieces in the front because I like for my bangs to be just a little bit longer. Um, so I need to just make sure I have the long hair and not the short hair. Yep, this is the long. And so what I'm going to do with this is, this is my side. Oh, y'all can't see. This is my side. I am going to take... 
take my hair or my the whip and I'm going to place it like how I did the other side. I mean, the one in the back. I'm going to place it right above. Right above. And then I'm going to go around to the other side and do the same exact thing. Right above this. The last, the last thing that you did. I use paper towels under the wig cap first. Why, Ruthie? With a hot glue gun? Or just with the regular glue. If you're using regular glue, um, I'm sure you have paper stuck to your weed. Let me know in the chat. She ready to go right now. Where's she going? What are y'all talking about? Now, I'm gonna show y'all something too. I'm gonna show y'all something. And, and and men, don't y'all be going around doing this, okay? Okay? But I'm about to show y'all something. Give me one second. Let me show y'all what y'all could do. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me find it first, y'all. Hold on. And I'm telling the men, do not get, you know, all excited and stuff. Okay? And go grabbing your lady's hair because you can stop right here. You can stop right here. Just like this, you can stop and style it. Because guess what? You can put a cap on this, and it look like you. I mean, once you comb it, cut it, and you know, curl it, or do whatever you want to do. Look at that. You can go just like this, but don't let your man touch it, right? You you, you say, listen, when we get in the public, leave me the hell alone. Don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch my head. Just don't do it. Don't touch my head. So let me show you. I can do that. And I can do this. Even though I think this a man hat. Oh, well, I can't do this one because it's got that. It's got this in the back. Hold on. Let me get the other one. Hold on. I might have to go up on this one too, but let's check it. This one got the little ponytail thing in it. In the back. But don't you touch my hair. But y'all see if it if if this if this was on right, I don't know how to put hats on, y'all. Ooh. But you can go just like this. As long as it was, you know, calmed and oh, maybe because it's too tight. That's why it won't go down. See? You can go just like that. Just don't tell nobody, okay? You might be in a rush and you got to go to the grocery store or something. But just don't let nobody touch your head, honey. Y'all see my head? Yeah. Y'all screenshot that. <laughs> um, welcome in. Welcome in, Wong. I appreciate you for being here. Who hollering? Why y'all hollering? Pulled up to the scene with the ceiling miss. <laughs> Absolutely, but don't nobody know but you. I wash it off. When I take the wig off, I use cheap wigs. Oh, okay. I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you, Ruthie. Touch that hair. You'll see a straight up sunrise. <laughs> oh, Lord have 
have mercy. Yes, virtual hug. Stay home. About to peel me a chick cap bag. <laughs> My oh, Lord, have mercy. Y'all got me choking over here. Okay, but that's how you can do that now. I'm telling you. Now, y'all take my word for it. I, I have done it. You know, you might be in a rush. You might just need to be at the baseball game or something like that. You just make sure you have a bang, though. You know, something in the front because it makes it look like you have a lot of hair all the way around. Okay? So let's get back to what I was doing. I'm sorry. So I normally like to put at least three rows in the front so that I can have the fullness. So let's get that done. Say, Weezy, don't you start that mess. Did, wait, did they win? Don't let the wind blow. <laughs> That's why I say you got to you gotta make sure that your cap or whatever you, you know, you have on. Make sure it stays down. It's secure. You probably even put a little bobby pin or two on the side. I don't know, but you just want it to stay down, honey. I'm trying to see if this is going to fit. Because I just, yep, yeah, I just cut that part. You can't get freaky over here. Oh, they did, Tay Weezy. Congratulations, finally. So what y'all like? Eight and one and eight now? Or what? One and ten? What is it? I don't know. They whoop the Saints. I'm going, hey. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about the Saints or none of them. I really don't. I'm glad y'all love football. Wong, oh, thank you, Ruthie. Glue that hat to the wig. Yeah, you can. But, you know, if you don't want to wear the same hat or the same, you know, like you can take a um a head scarf and just, you know, tie it around and make your little knot in the top or whatever and have your hair hanging to the back. You can do that, too. Y'all, let me try to finish this because. Baby, it's taking me forever. How long I been here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm coming. I'm getting it. I'm moving along and I'm getting it. I'm moving along and I'm getting it. Y'all tied now with Green Bay. You talking about the Dallas Cowboys? I do. I love you, Ante Weezy Rooster. I just know I'm not dissing nobody's team because I'm not, I'm not, don't, don't put that, don't put words in my mouth. I was just saying that I don't care about football like that. Like, you know, how some, most people do. I'm not, I'm not into that like that. I'm glad that you guys enjoy football. It gives y'all something to do and talk about. It's just not my thing. Now, if you want me to do something for you for your team, I will make that money. Oh, matter of fact, while we have so many people in the chat, I need to know if I asked you guys, and please don't take this the wrong way. This has nothing to do with me. If I asked you guys for $1, if you would cash out me $1, would you do it? There is a person that's in need. I'm not going to say the person's name, but I will tell you every dollar that you cash at me will go to this person in need. I'm not saying that we all don't need something, but this person is, is really in need right now and maybe you know i'm hoping not but you know the next time it could be you so just think about that 
we are, we all in the, the spirit of giving and helping others. And I just thought I would bring that to your attention. Um, if you don't mind. If you can't, I understand. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. I just thought I would ask. Um, because listen, y'all, it's hard for everybody. It's really, it's really hard for everybody. And, um, this person does a lot for others, but not themselves. See, y'all thought I was going to say him or her, and I'm not, but I just believe that, um, when this person gets back on their feet, they're going to come and they're going to bless you too. And it's not really about that. It's just when per when people need stuff, you help them. That's what God wanted. That's what God intended for us to do. When you can, do it without, a, without question. Just do it. Okay, so I'm going to put one more row in the, in the top. So um, E-Money, can you put my cash app in the um it's um oh y'all i didn't even put the thing hold on let me put the ticker just so you guys can see and i appreciate each and every one of you whoever decides to do it you don't have to do it today you can do it tomorrow you can do it, you know, by the end of the week. Just put in the cash app for help. And I'll know exactly who it belongs to, okay? And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you can also pray for this person, I don't think you really need to know that person's name in order to pray for them. Just say, we are praying for those in need so we're gonna pray for everybody jesus 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 the smile that's gonna be on this person's face lord is going to be you know I mean, you just you just can't get no better than that. <laughs> to put a smile on somebody's face is like the the most precious thing ever. I, I hear the feedback and I don't know why. It was so often it does that. It's crazy. Y'all hear that feedback? Because I hear it. I don't know why it's doing that. That ain't nothing but the devil, baby. Every time you talk about God, something go wrong. But I'm going to still keep saying it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now, cut my channel off. That ain't nothing but the devil. Big rooster, you got your feelings on your shoulders. Stop it. Stop it. It ain't nothing but love over here, baby. Nothing but love. I got nothing but love for you. Okay, y'all. So I'm at my I'm at my four, my three in the front. And here is where my color is going to start coming in at. She will have this burgundy. And I only want it like on one side, like this. It will be burgundy, brown, and black. So now we get into the nitty gritty. Big Rooster, you shouldn't even entertain. TW, 
Oh, he left you out there alone. Oh, Tay Weezy, Tori had your back, but Tay was missing in action. <laughs> and was, because I when I went back and watched the replay, I did not see TW in the chat. But that ain't none of my business, though. That ain't none of my business, though. Y'all do what y'all want. Y'all be friend who y'all want. Okay. Tay Weezy was probably eating his Doritos. Like, man, I ain't getting off into that. I don't blame you. I wear my football feeling on my shoulders until the season is. <laughs> okay. Yes, Ruthie, we rebuke the devil, baby, because that's what they do when they playing with my channel. Because that, like how I talk and it don't make that noise, and then all of a sudden it makes the noise when I start talking about God. That ain't nothing but the devil, baby. But you don't belong here. So get thee behind. Not the Doritos, yes, 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 yes. The Doritos. Okay, so this is the this is the burgundy. Let me comb some of this glue so y'all can see. It just comes, it just falls right out. Okay, so that's the burgundy, and then I'm gonna put this color on top of the burgundy. So I'm making this like in a sandwich. Y'all know that I like color and I like 3D looking stuff. So Thank you, Heather. I appreciate you, Queen. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate you, Queen. And I'm going to um, um Miss Elizabeth and Miss Heather, if you don't mind, can you do one favor for me, please? Email me your um, email address. Like, just go to my email and say, hey, this is Heather. Hey, this is Elizabeth. Because I want to be able to um, tag you guys if you, you know, if you want me to. When I um, let the person know who gave, you know, to their cause. If you want to, if you want to remain anonymous, that's fine too. I understand that. My email is in the description of this video and also in my the link in my bio. So y'all see, this is how this is going to look. Y'all like that so far? Okay. And that's how you do that. That's how you... Put it to where it looks like it all goes together eventually once i cut it you'll be able to tell so i have the hair at the top and now i'm going to make my whole way around so i'm gonna start from the other side the reason why you start from side to side is so that the hair will come out evenly okay um I don't know how to explain it, y'all, but just watch me. This is what you this is what you do. When we play the Eagles again, we are going to show them how we get down. Okay.
So I'm over here now. Oh, y'all, I can't even see the chat. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm finna put y'all in a commercial real quick. Um, where is it? <laughs> okay. Hey, queen. Hey, king. Don't you change my song? I, 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 I'm biased LLC. I, oh, I, 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 embroidery, custom gifts, blankets, and more. Harris get products for the salon owner. Sew up and glow up juicy after loves. T shirts and hats and alterations. Thank you for all your support from Unbiased LLC. Now it's still an echo. I don't know what that is. I was trying to figure it out while I was gone, y'all. I'm sorry. Do anybody in the chat know what could be interfering with my um my microphone? Move the phone. My phone is not by it. Like I'm over here and everything else is over there. Do you have a case on your phone? I'm not using my phone. This is my uh, camera. My, um, what you call it? Um, like the GoPro thingy, but the cheap version is what I'm using right here. Do I have another app open? What type of app? I only have StreamYard on, on my computer. I have my iPhone on, like if I wanted to show you guys this other, like this, look, like that. If I wanted to show you another angle, but that's it. Do you have any other electronics close? Hmm. Uh, iron. Well, the computer is next to the microphone, so should I space those out? Hold on. Okay, I moved it. So let's see if that helps because this. Turn down the volume on the iPhone. It's on mute. Cowboy Mute, welcome in. Maybe turn the volume down on your phone. Yep, it's on mute. I don't know why it has this feedback. Is it still feedback? Because I moved the microphone. That just means I need to hurry up. But I got to try to figure it out. I can't keep going live and having all these issues. And y'all see, I'm just bringing this all the way around, all the way around. Until I stop. 
It's good now. Okay, so I, I need to keep the microphone away from the laptop. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just get another piece and keep going. Now, what I did with the hair. Oh, like what I did with all that hair. So, I don't know why my baby leaning like that. She on that drink or something. Let me not say that because then y'all going to think I'm over here doing the D stuff and I'm not. I just was making a joke. And I seen that Tay Weezy was trying to fire Crafty Leo. For what? For what purpose? We whooped your team already. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Okay, y'all, I'm about mo 20 more minutes. I'm trying to get this done in 20 minutes. Well, the glue part, then I'm going to cut it. E-money, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So y'all, I'm on my third glue stick. I am going to try to keep a count for y'all just in case that's important to you. <laughs> or just in case you only have like three or four glue sticks left in your house and you're trying to do you a wig, honey. The mini glue sticks is what I'm using, so they do run out pretty fast. Okay, so now I'm back to my color. And y'all see it stopped right in this area about where my color starts. So we got to do another layer of red and we got to, or burgundy, whatever you want to call it. And we have to do another layer of brown. I'm just turning it so I can get um, my placement. That's all. And you don't start exactly where you started. You kind of move it over just a little bit. But y'all see, this is where it stopped. I'm going to start my, the, the red right on top of this. Y'all need to have a live thought about football. I think y'all would have like, a lot of people watching and that's only if you can take jokes from other people like if you you know consider yourself somewhat of a crybaby or you know it makes you mad that people talk about you and your team and whatnot then don't do it you know because you don't want to burn no bridges but if you can get on and talk about other people's team and they talk about your team and you okay with that i think y'all should do a live thing about that or some kind of broadcast or something i don't know because y'all love football child that's all i can tell y'all love football and i love crafting <laughs> <clears throat> You say he say the hell with that. <laughs> the educated natural already want me to make her a beard and a must I mean a mustache, a beard, and a hat or something with some hair on it. I don't know. I gotta go back and read the chat. Y'all are hilarious. 
Tay can't be in it then. Yep, because he don't show up. He in my A, so he, he can't be in it. Y'all are funny to me, honey. Funny. E Money say the chat got him weak. I'm going to have to go back and, and watch the replay because I don't know what these people over here saying. And y'all see how I just overlap that? So when you comb it, let me show you. And it doesn't, it doesn't, um, how can I say this? It, it, it depends on you how much color you want in this wig. If you only want, you know, just a few pieces like this, this so there's two down here and two up here. You can leave it like this and then the rest of it just be black. But y'all know I like color. So I'm going to do another row around and then I'm going to do another burgundy and, and brown. Do y'all like these colors or what? Okay, Ruthie, I see you, queen. Are y'all looking at the wig or y'all just looking at the football people? What's what what's 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 really going on here? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, let me let me keep going. So I'm gonna start right here because this is where I left off on the brown. If I start it up here, it'll be too thick. So I'm trying to make keep it even. The educated natural thinks she funny. People still laughing at me. I was in the grocery store the other day and somebody saw, no, somebody said, I saw you on the educated natural skit. Big Rooster, stop playing. <laughs> so you famous now. Okay. Well, you should have told him, well, you should have subscribed to my channel. That's what you should have told and that you the big rooster. So y'all see how I just put that right? Oh, y'all can't see. <laughs> this one right on top of the ending of that other one. See, so it makes it blend in. So now it doesn't look like it's just chopped off, if that makes sense. It's, it's blended, okay? I hope y'all getting, getting what I'm saying. I know it's taking me forever, but I am trying to explain what I'm doing at the same time. And I appreciate you guys for being here. I really do. I didn't really think anybody was going to come and watch me make a wig because a lot of people are natural nowadays and they're not into this anymore. You know, it's not a lot of people that's into this, but I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate you, Queen. Down goes the cowgirls. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are funny. So y'all know I gotta do iPhone or Android. Put it in the chat. rx nails welcome in queen how was your event i appreciate you for stopping by iphone team iphone don't expect the call from the brother <laughs> e money said both okay e money so you really do have money. E-Money got money. Because E-Money got both. He ain't playing no games with y'all. E-Credit. That was a real statement too, I think. Oh, 
All right. So I'm right back again. So I'm going to do my burgundy in my in my brown. One more again, one more again. And I'm not starting where I stopped. I'm pulling it over just a little bit. Oh, this 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 end is raggedy. Let me cut it off. Sometimes the whiffs don't, they don't sew them right. So I, I tend to cut that part off. No, 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 no. Don't use the word broke. You are financially strapped. It's temp you are temporarily financially strapped. It's okay. Temporary. You got to put the word temporary because broke is the end. Okay? We're not broke. We are temporarily financially strapped. Words are powerful, so you cannot speak that into your, you know, you can't speak it. Because <laughs> then when it ends up happening, you can't even be surprised. You can't even be surprised. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm with him, by you <laughs> Okay, E Money. I'm gonna get the belt for you. RX Nails, thank you, Queen. So are you, girl. I can't do what you do. At the moment, the millions be missing is all we are going to do or be growing. Wait. At the moment, the millions be missing is all we are going to be growing. Okay, Heather, I think you're talking about the lottery. Everything is missing. This is this piece of hair is missing too. I'm about to cut it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the brown. And then I'm just gonna keep going on with the black because I think that's enough color. But baby, who knows, honey? If I get to the top and you know feel like I need some more, I put some more. Financially embarrassed. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now I gotta stand up because now I can't see her, the top of her head. Let me see if she go down anymore. Okay, a little. So just remember when you're doing colors, you do not put them even. You kind of like, see, this is the bottom. Look, this is the burgundy. And watch how the brown goes right above it and over. Like it doesn't meet up. They're not the same length. It's a piece of hair sticking out. All right, so then when you comb her, so look, she got highlights over here. Can y'all see that? See, it starts here. And then once you comb her, she fans all the way over here. See how natural that looks, even though this is not hidden yet. But this bottom portion, it looks natural. It looks like she got her hair highlighted. But if you had all that stuff stacked on top of one another, it would look like a joke. I'm glad you're feeling better, Samira. Welcome in, Queen. I saw you in um, Yaya's Best Life, I think it was, saying that you wasn't feeling well. Um, we're going to pray for your health and your strength. Queen, that you get better. Okay, so now we're going to keep on going around with the black, and we'll be getting this done. Y'all 
Y'all not even paying attention to this need, honey. I'm going to have to whoop all y'all. I'm whooping everybody in the chat. Please send out a bell for me. Yes. You know that song that says, send out a message for me? We're sending out belts. Thank you, Samira. I appreciate you, queen. Because these knuckleheads over here, honey, they not, they not acting right. And y'all see, I still got... I still have a finger in between these rows. It may not look like it on camera, but I do because you can see the scalp or, you know, the pretend scalp. You just wigging around. Stop that, Eva. <laughs> you should have put that in all caps. <laughs> I'm just wigging around. <laughs> he is funny. And I just so happy to catch that out the side of my eye, y'all. Out of one eye. Oh, Lord. What is this world wigging to? Shoot. What they coming to? So now I'm going to start doing my one finger apart in the front because I'm full. I don't need that much hair left in the front. Okay, Heather, go make it. Make it real quick before somebody else make it. And post it. Hurry up, Heather. Post it on Instagram and everything, girl, so we can make this money. I got one eye open, but I want to see the finished product. I'm watching. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll post the um a picture on my community. And y'all don't look at this because this this thing didn't center like my hat. So don't worry about that. I know the crown of my head go right here. I know you're tired, Queen. Probably past your bedtime. Yaya's best life will be on the live thon November the 19th at from 2 to 4 a.m. Don't ask me which time, which zone time, because I don't know. I don't know that. I've never worn a wig or colored my hair. I do want a, want to color my hair though. Um, the Educated Natural, since you are natural, you can color your hair with baking soda. I was going to do, I, and that's how I colored my hair, but I was going to do a video or a live actually coloring my hair with baking soda so you guys can see what it looks like and i still may do it i just don't know when <laughs> because i need to like get coordinated with my daughter first so when i do color it i can get it retwisted the same day eastern standard time okay Yaya's best life is Easter standard time, y'all. Live on the edge, uh, Crafty Leo say, educated natural. Get a colored wig. Do both of, do them both at the same time. <laughs> I know that's right. Fight both of your fears at the same time. 
a colored wig and the wig and it being colored is two fears that you just faced. And guess what? If you don't like it, you can do a skit and wear it. Baking soda, yep. And it turns your hair. Like, it turns your hair. I'm going to see, y'all. I'm going to see when. That's just for my natural people. That is not for people who do relaxers. Oh, my God. Let me disclaim that. If you wear a relaxer, meaning you put a perm on your hair, because that's what black folks say is a perm, but it's really not a perm. It's called a relaxer. If you relax or perm your hair, do not put the baking soda in your hair. Okay? 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 Okay. I forgot I was talking to some people that still relax their hair. Nope, that's not your, that's not for you. Only if you natural. Now it's starting to get messy. I don't know why. I think my glue sticks, so sometimes the, the glue guns get uh, overheated. I have heard of peroxide, but never heard of baking soda. And I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Yeah, girl. I got a curly wig one time. Didn't know how to wear it. So I gave it to my sister. Girl. Girl. I don't listen. Yeah. And so I'm going to say this. They sell you the wigs, whether you buy it online, you go in the store, or what have you. If you don't see one of us working, okay, one of us, in the store, get out. And that's all I got to say about this. Because some other people, and I'm not trying to down nobody, this is not you know, I'm not trying to down nobody, but they don't know how to put these weeds on. All they know is you're spending your money, but they don't know how to tell, show you how to do nothing. Okay. They don't know. They just don't know. No, Heather. She said, do not buy a wig from me. That is fair. No, I'm not saying that queen. I'm just saying they just don't know how to i shouldn't have said nothing because now people gonna think i'm you know but i'm not but i don't know i'm just saying i don't have a choice it's only no 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 they do step yeah they sell it samira um okay let me shut up i'm just gonna be quiet because people i guess y'all not understanding what i'm trying to say and i don't want to make it seem like i'm you know downplaying anybody in their business because that is not what i'm doing that's not what i'm doing but it is true what the f do i know about hair other than my own <clears throat> Heather, no, because some people go to school and when you go to school, you learn how to do all hair. Hair is hair, period. Hair is hair. Fabulous, welcome in, queen. Yeah, I don't want to sound like um, I'm being racist or anything because that is not. I just was trying to educate some people, but I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all do what y'all been doing.
uh elizabeth you probably ended up getting um what they say is like a raspberry and the raspberry color is not as bright as a regular burgundy so you got to be careful with that too some stores will sell you burgundy hair and some stores will sell you 99J, which is the, the number that be on the weed, I mean, on the hair or whatever, or the color. And certain makers, <laughs> the colors are different. Y'all, I'm getting to the top. Uh-oh. I don't know. I think this, this hot glue gun is ready to relax because it's starting to spit out a ton of glue when I don't need it to. But it's okay. I'm going to finish this out. And I'm going to put this wig on when I finish. I'm going to show y'all how I cut it and everything. So I'm trying to go fast or faster. Because I don't want to just make it. And, and, and I'm going to put it on top of all of my hair. I'm just trying to see if I want more color. I think I'm good with that. Okay, so let me just keep doing the black. Okay, Samira, I'm glad you, you got what I'm saying, Queen. So y'all know how I told y'all about the scene at the top of the wig cap? You definitely, right here, want to make sure that that is underneath hair because if not it will poke out the top of your wig i know my hand in the way i apologize but that's the only way i could get this on Oh, the highlighter dye magenta and red. Okay. So did you mix the magenta and the red together, Queen? Elizabeth? Heather, you can do this. I promise you, you can do this. You are a crafter, and we could do we could do all kind of things. You just gotta put your mind to it. That's all. So, y'all, I'm getting to the crown of the head. So I'm fixing to start closing this end. That mannequin didn't do nothing to me, girl. She just been around for, I think, about six or seven years. So she been used and used and reused. And, and I have some that's, you know, brand new. But I'm like, why mess them up when I already, you know, just keep using what I got? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But, yeah, she kind of scary looking. But she hanging in there. <laughs> she definitely hanging in there. Okay. So y'all see the top of my head? I'm starting to close this in. I'm just going to comb some of the glue out. All right, so now I'm about to finish her off. And just for the sake of this video, okay, yeah. Do y'all want me to use the closure that comes with the, I don't even know the same color, let me see. Use the closure that comes with the hair or make my own. Either way is fine with me, it doesn't matter. 
Um, how do I get this? It's inside this thingy. No, Samira, it was not fast, girl. I've been online for two hours. So this is more of an off black. I don't think this is. Yeah, this is not totally black, so I can't use this. I found this in another bag, so I'm going to have to make my own closure. <laughs> e money say, you said what? <laughs> I got to make a closure. <laughs> okay, so let me finish putting some more of this hair in, and then once I get to the closure, I'm going to show y'all. And I'm not going to, okay, so with the closure, I'm going to use the black glue, but then I will glue it down with the glue gun. Make sense? I'm not going to be twirling hot glue in my hand. I'm just not going to do it. Because I know what that feels like. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate you, Queen. So we won't have to sew this one. Nope. You don't have to sew it. You can if you choose to. One day I will do a wig on the sewing machine for y'all. I have a sewing machine. It's just a regular brother sewing machine, but I only use it to sew wigs. I don't use the sewing machine to sew clothes or nothing else, just for wigs. Honestly, y'all, it just takes a lot of time to get um, get stuff together to do lives. Like, it's not just click the phone and go live. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta have a plan and an execution or something. Y'all, we... Oh, why did I sit down? Because I need to stay. I can't see down there. We getting to the top. And so when you get to the top, you don't necessarily want to go like around and around in a circle. You kind of want to go in a, oh, how can I say it, square circle. You kind of want to go in a square circle. Okay, I'm going to use this other little piece that I had. From the top, wait, is this, this not down? Hold on. This part did not stick. Okay, let me, where my scissors at? Where my scissors at? Where my scissors at? Okay, I don't see them. Okay, I had to have them because I've been cutting the hair. Okay, give me a second. And I hear feedback. I don't know why. Why would I be with them doggone scissors? Scissors, where are you? Calling all the scissors. 
We putting out an APB on the scissors. No, like for real. Where, where are they? <laughs> like I just been in this little area. Oh, Lord. Lord. This is your humble servant, Colleen. You didn't say it was going to be this hard. <laughs> Start burning. <laughs> Stay burning my dang fingers. Last time I used a glue gun was for Christmas back in 1999 when I was making gifts with popsicle sticks, glitter, and cardboard paper. <laughs> I need a pegboard. I got one, Queen. But I was using the scissors to cut the hair, and now I don't. Okay, when I went to a commercial, did I did I leave them in the kitchen? Okay, hold on. Let me check y'all. I don't know what happened to the hair scissors, but I got to find them because that's what I got to cut the hair with. But anyway, I just cut those, that little piece. And so I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing with this. Take that little piece and you overlap right here. Oh, shoot. Y'all can't see. I'm going to do another one. Just hold on. Y'all take the piece and it's a square. So it's like a square piece, right? Straight across. Hold on. Let me get to put the glue on it, then I'll hold it down. And then you take this piece and you lay it straight across like this. So y'all see how I'm starting to make this into a square and not a circle? This is what you want to do. And I'm going to do this one, one, two more times. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Hey, Deborah Gary. Welcome in, Queen. Could y'all see that or do I need, I mean, I'm going to do it again, but just let me know if you understand what I'm saying for those of you who are interested in, the, in what I'm doing. The square keeps it flat. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I just take it and put it directly right above the one that I did the first time. And I just leave it in. I mean, I smash it down so that it could get heated. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. And then I'm going to put my square in the middle. I mean, I'm going to put my round in the middle. Now, do y'all see how small I close this up? Don't worry about the glue. Just see how small I close this up. Can y'all hear me? Okay, so now you're going to take... Is this black? Yeah. You're going to take uh, another piece of hair... You say yes, you can hear me. Okay, thank you. Take another piece of hair, whatever size, right? I mean, whatever. Um, this don't really. Yeah, that's black. Okay. Anyway, take another piece. So look, this is my this is my square. Let me show y'all. This is all I have to fill. This little square right here. So I'm just gonna take out of this piece. I'm gonna probably use about this much. So let me cut it so you can show I can show you exactly what I need. This is all I'm taking, just this piece, this amount. And I'm going to get the black glue, the one that I told y'all I was gonna use right here. And y'all see how my hair is curling this way. I'm going to 
curl it the opposite. I'm going to fold it in the opposite way. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm folding it in the opposite direction. And you put enough glue. You don't need a lot, but you do need to put it all the way down. I mean, through, throughout the whole track, if I could say that. So let me see. I'm going to try to show you. See the glue goes all the way down from top to bottom. And then I'm going to take this piece. Am I lagging? It looked like my computer just jumped. Am I lagging? Can you make eyelashes from that? Yeah, you can make eyelashes. Most definitely. Okay, am I lagging? You knew welcome. Okay, no. Um, so now let me see. Can y'all see? I'm taking this piece where the glue is this way. It's, it's facing y'all. The glue is facing y'all. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to start rolling this in. Rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. The key to this is keeping it. I'm, I'm just going to roll it, y'all, because I'm messing this up trying to show it to you. But hold on. Let me see if I can get it. The key to it is keeping it together and keeping it tight. And as I'm rolling it, I'm mashing it because I want the glue to start sticking to the other part of it. I don't know how to explain it, but I just want the glue to get in all of it. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, I got to do better with the terminologies of stuff. But So y'all see, this is what we have. And then I'm going to try my best to find the center of my turnaround but do y'all see why i turn my hair upside down do y'all see how it's starting to come this way which the hair on here is falling this way that's where a lot of people make the mistake of putting the hair like turning it down and then once you turn it in like this the hair is sticking straight up So now I'm just finding my center and I'm just mashing it down. I'm just mashing the glue down together on top of one another. And y'all, I forgot my dog on flat iron. So once I cut her hair, I'm going to put you on a commercial, go get my flat iron. And that way I, we could curl, curl the hair. But I am going to put this wig on. So I know it's late. People got to go to work. If you can't stay, y'all just come back and watch the end, the replay. At the at the at the uh the bottom. Am I saying the bottom? I said the bottom because this came loose. <laughs> but on the back end of the video, if you miss me trying on the wig, so I'm just combing this out. You understand, Elizabeth? Okay. Thank you, Queen. Eric, be the realest. Welcome in, King. All right. So now y'all see. Mine don't look exactly like theirs because they have a lot of hair on here, right? I only need a little. But can y'all see? This is going to be the top, but mine is just as flat as theirs, except theirs was made on a machine and I did mine by hand. Because you don't need a lot of hair for a closure. You just need enough to close it. And so now I'm just fanning my, fanning it out. So when I, oh, I got to show y'all. So when I stick it in the square, look, and it's just going to fall right into place, just like that. Y'all see that? Fall right into place. So let me get the glue, and I'm, I'm going to... Uh, Put the um 
the, the black glue down for this for so you just put a little glue on the rim the top part um of the tracks i guess that's what you would call it and then i'm just going to place this directly into that square that i just showed you guys and you mash down on it because you want it to be flat Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me because I hear echo. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I pray y'all heard me because I sure don't know if I can redo this again tonight. And I'm just mashing on it, mashing on it because for one, I want this closure to be flat. I hear you. Okay. And for two... I want it to um, dry because I'm using the black glue and it's not going to dry as fast as the um, the hot glue gun. So this is basically it. Now, I'm going to show you how I cut the hair. I'm just trying to comb it down, y'all. And I still have my finger on this closure because... I know it's still wet because the black glue takes longer to dry. So I'm just holding it down as I comb. And while I'm combing it, I'm making sure that none of my tracks come up. That means that they are um, they are on the, 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 the stocking cap. So they won't come off. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to move y'all back just a little bit so you can see. Um, no echo. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. Fabulous. Thank you. Huh, Heather, yes. Let, thank you, Heather. Okay, so I'm going to move y'all back just a little bit. Okay, don't look at the sewing machine. Y'all look over here. Okay. So, how I cut this, wait, let me let me put my towel where it goes because I don't need this hair everywhere. So I have a towel on the floor just to catch some of this hair so I won't have this major mess when I'm done. But y'all, I got to find my doggone um, the hair cutting scissors. I honestly had them, and now I don't. I don't even see them like that. They fell on the floor or nothing. Hmm, it's weird. So weird. Okay, let me see if I can figure something else out right now. I guess I'll just do everything with the the razor comb. Let me check this trash can, make sure it didn't fall in there. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. Um, Elizabeth, you can if you if you um get your hair braided down, your dreads braided, your locks bra dra uh braided down. Y'all, I'm <laughs> I don't know where the doggone scissors went. That ain't nothing but the devil, Lord. But anyway, so you take your bottle of water and you just lightly spray it. Let me see what is coming out. Okay, so it's almost like a mist. You just want to get the hair wet. And this is just regular water. And you just want to comb it down. The reason why you wet it is so you can get all the hair to go in the same direction, which is down or to the side or up or however you, you know, you want to cut. So, 
I gotta, I gotta pull her up some. Hold on, let me see. Just a little. Okay. She don't be in her neck. Okay, let me see. Oh Lord, I should have been in the shop, but I didn't feel like going in the shop. Okay, let me see. Can y'all see? Y'all can still see the head. This is the back. And I'm just going to take my um razor comb. Now, let me tell y'all the difference. They have two sides to a razor comb. Let me see if I can show you. They have the big teeth side. Um, let me see. I'm going to put something behind the big teeth side which is this side. You see how wide the teeth are on this side? And then they have the skinny teeth side, which is on this side. The wide tooth side is more like, um, um, what, what, what can I call it so you guys can know? Thinning. This is more like a thinning side. Even though it's wide, it's just to relieve some of the hair. Okay, the thin side cuts the hair like it takes a lot. It takes a lot of hair off. So the big two side, you just want to kind of like thin your hair out in certain places. Use the big side. You want to take a lot of hair out. You use that little bitty side of comb. I hope that made sense to y'all. All right. So the mannequin ate them. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to tell you. Check by the sewing machine. I don't see nothing. Y'all, this is so weird. And I got a hoodie on. And I thought I had put it in my hoodie pocket. But anyway, I'm going to use this and show y'all what I'm doing. So this, I'm going to use the, the skinny tooth side for the back of my wig. So it's already wet, and all you want to do is just come down on it. Now, don't forget, you left the hair long in the back for a reason because you wanted to cover the back of your neck. Can y'all see? Like, you wanted to cover this right there. So. And you just come, you just gradually cut it down. And I like to fan mine to the side. And I like to fan it to the other side. Because it makes the hair flow. I can't do this holding her like this. You see how it's taking out chunks of hair? Now watch. I'm going to do the front with the big side of the comb and watch the difference. You see how it kind of just, it's like a, it just barely scrapes the top of the head. Okay, y'all, I got to put her back on the mannequin because I can't, I can't, I can't hold it right. Hold on. I was trying to do it over the, um, over the trash can so I won't have this big old major mess, but it's not working. All right. And you angling the comb, the, this this razor comb. Not, don't chunk it straight down. You angle. You do it at an angle.
I'm just gonna keep turning it from side to side so I can get what I need. Can y'all see it taking shape or still in the bushes waiting? Okay, big rooster. Thank you. And one thing about weave, if you have a good cut, you hardly have to do anything to it, okay? Especially if it's like a bumped hair, which this is a bumped hair. Thank you, Venice. Welcome in, Venice. Appreciate you for being here. The hot glue method is easy. Easy, easy, easy. I'm not going to know like my whole dimensions of my head until I actually put the wig on. But this is called a preliminary cut. So you kind of get it in the style that you, you know, that you, that you want it. And then you do the final cut on your head. And sometimes I cut it and I don't have to do nothing to it. Just kind of, you know. Move it around with my hand every now and then or something. But I accidentally cut this side too short, these these pieces, but it's okay. I, I would have left it a little longer, but I really didn't. I couldn't see it, but it's not nobody fought but my own. Nobody fought but my own. Oh, 
Lord. I'm going to need my vacuum. Y'all, I should have been in the hair shop with this. Lord, have mercy. If y'all order something and they have hair on it, just know that it came from this lot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to cut my ear because I want to see where it lies, if I have enough hair there. It looks even on both sides to me, or somewhat even, because this is not my head, but it looks somewhat even. I like my wigs to look thin, kind of thin, because it makes them look more natural. So I left my flat iron in the in the shop, but let me show y'all what it looks like without curling it don't worry about seeing the cap because y'all remember i gotta put the wig on so don't worry about seeing the cap the brand of hair that i used um venus was femi f-e-m-i oh you can't see it um f-e-m-i it's like a um 28 piece this is what the ladies look like if you want to screenshot the back of this. And then I could turn it back around. You can screenshot the front of this. But this is what I'm using. Okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to put y'all on a come. Wait, let me take her off the thing. Let me show y'all what she's looking like first. So. This may still be too long in my eye, but we'll I, I won't know till I put it on. But this is what she looks like so far. And if I had my um flat irons in here, I could really do that, you know, flat iron it, make it lay flat. But see, this is what I like to be able to do in the back. Where you can flip it to this side and it still look good, or you can flip it to this side and it still looks good. So it just depends on which way you like it. But this is her. And let me, um, I'm going to go put it on. So let me find my pins. I'm going to see if I can loop my commercial because it's probably going to take me. Well, hold on, y'all. Let me see. Because Elizabeth is saying that she may not be able to get the wig on being that she have locks. And I have locks as well. I kind of pre um put my um i kind of pre put my locks down for this live like already but i'm gonna show you elizabeth what i do let me see oh i'm looking for the other pen And um, right now I'm just taking some of that white out the top because it's like too much right here. Okay. So just inspect your wig if you have glue sticking up somewhere. Just kind of get it out because you surely don't want to be walking around thinking you cute and you got globs of glue stuck in your hair. I mean, I was going to do that once I got off the live, but I am going to put this wig on, so y'all just hold on. Hold on. 
Okay. So, I'm just going to take off. Remember, I got the brown and the black. And y'all see? So this is what it looks like in the inside the inside the cap. Inside. So I'm gonna be right back. Let me try to loop this commercial. Oh wait, I was gonna show Elizabeth Brown. Hold on. Um. Okay, Liz. Let me try to get down. So what I did was I took all of my locks from the front and I pulled them to the back. But the key is don't put it in a ponytail. Take your locks and lay them down. Lay them down flat. Like one on top of each other or in between each other. Lay them down. And then you can put bobby pins across to hold it. So you just keep going, laying them flat as possible. They're not going to all lay flat, but try to do that as much as possible. And go to the other side. So you see, I have all this still coming out. You see the back of my hand? Can y'all see the back? You, All of this is still, you know, loose or whatever you want to call it. But when I'm going to put the wig on, I'm going to take it, bring it in like this. Y'all, my glasses falling too. Bring it in like this. And when I put the wig on, I'm going to take all of this and tuck it underneath the wig so that my the wig will lay on my neck. I'm I don't know if y'all can see it cuz I mean I'm down at you know I'm stooped down. I'm at the bottom. I don't know. But maybe one day I'll be able to show you in the shop how I actually put the wigs on. But that's just a general way. You don't want to twist your um your your locks you just want to lay them down as easy, you know, as you can, as much as you can lay this because you want this top part to be flat. OK, the back, it just depends on how much hair you have back there. OK, to how you want that to lay. But I'm going to loop this commercial. And when I come back, I'm going to have the wig on. Let's pray that it fit because I haven't worn a wig in so long and I do have a lot of hair. But, no, I lied. The last time I wore a wig was in North Carolina. But anyway, it wasn't one that I made. I bought that wig. I'm going to go and put it on, and I'll be back. So, y'all, hold on. Let me see which. I don't know how to loop it. I don't know how. Um, I think you can only loop the pre-made Oh, right here, loop. But I don't want it all looped. I just want this looped. Okay, let's try. Hey, queen. Hey, queen. Hey, kings. Hey, kings. Hey, kings. Uh uh. Don't you change my phone. I, 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 I buy us LLC. Too, and she know what to do to get your business looking cool. Uh-huh. 
Purple Hearts, baby. Purple Pets crew, you know what to do. Throw them purple hearts. You know what to do. Throw them purple hearts. Throw them purple hearts. Throw them purple hearts. And when you show up, we gon' put the purple hearts all in the chat. So a little kick back and relax. Unbiased, unbiased, unbiased LLC. Hey, queen. Hey, King. Get to know that mindset, the intellect, the mythology, no mythology. Pick a place to meet you and I can chillax, bump and eat money on the beat. Woo. Sip a little yak, kicking big facts. We can pat and chat until it's time to get back for show. <laughs> you make my spirit smile. I love it when you smile, cause you make my body quiver like. Okay, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I cannot get it down in the back. Okay, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> I got too much hair. Okay, wait. Let me see. I want y'all to be able to see. So, I got the front. I got the front. But I can't get the back. My dress is too thick back here. I was trying. And I was like, Lord, have mercy. I done tapped out this snack and can't get these, these locks underneath this wig here. But I'm still trying for y'all. Okay, hold on. Woo child. If I could just get it to come down. 
I don't even know because I don't know what the heck it looked like or nothing. Y'all laughing at me because I can't get it down. I can't even see because I ain't got my glasses on. Hold on. Whoo, Jesus. Baby, talk about my hair done grew, honey. So I might have to do, I don't know. Okay, this one little. Oh. Y'all, I'm struggling. Okay, y'all hold on again. Shoot. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it. Where, where is this other song? Let me see. Oh. Y'all hold on. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Hey, King. Hey, King. Don't you change my name? I, 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 I buy us LLC. To do. Ooh, throw them purple hearts. You know what to do. Throw them purple hearts. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so what I did do, I cut the size too short, but it's okay because I have enough room I could add some hair right here, right? So that's my hair, like my my hairline coming out. But I did get it in the back. So this is the back. I finally was able to get them in, but I know that I need to like mash these down. So let me show y'all that I was able to get the whole wig on. I don't even know what it looked like back here, but um, it was a struggle. I ain't gonna even lie <laughs> because my hair, so when I pull everything to the back, which I normally do that, right? But my hair has grown out a lot, okay? Um, Y'all tell me what it looked like in the back. I already know the size is too short. I'm okay with that. I can fix it. And I just need to bump curl a little in the front, you know, to have some type of style or whatever. Y'all let me know. Let me see if I can see the chat. Um... Because I can't look at that other chat. I left my glasses in the bathroom. Mm. 
Y'all see, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to see. Oh, thank you. I appreciate y'all. I'm not lying. Y'all see me trying to look. I left my glasses in the bathroom. Um, but see, like this side is too short. So I will have to add some hair right here. I cut it too short. But that was my fault. Y'all, when I turned her over here, I, I cut it too short. But anyway, this is the gist of it. Okay. And the 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 how can I say the challenge was to get this all this hair up in here, honey. That that was the challenge. And I think I did it. I just need to first I need an edge. I can feel that. Look, I'm trying to look at myself in the thing so I can see. I need an edge, but I don't know. I don't know if it's long enough in the back. I don't know. I can't see. But I got it on. <laughs> she may not be like perfect, but I got her on. My, I used to didn't have like, uh, well, I used to have a relaxer. When I used to wear wigs a lot, I, my hair was relaxed. And so I could get wigs on like, you know, but now my hair is big and thick. And I feel like I got crusty lips because I've been talking so doggone much. And y'all letting me have crusty lips. What's wrong with you people? <sighs> y'all, putting that wig on woke me out. <laughs> okay, but now I got to get my glasses because I can't see the chat. Okay, y'all, hold on. I'm coming and then I'm about to end this live because I got hair everywhere. I got a mess. Oh, I forgot. I ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> That's why I kept turning y'all off. Don't be laughing at my Christmas uh leggings, tights, or what have you. Okay. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate you. Thank you, E Money. I appreciate you. Thank you, Ruji. Thank you, you new educated natural. Yeah, yeah's best life. Not you headbutting the phone. Yes, I was trying to see, honey. Shoot. Live long enough, you're gonna need some of these too. Okay, people be we, you know, I used to laugh at older people and be like, You can't see nothing now, nah, I can't see nothing. Okay, <laughs> so what goes around comes around. Period. I did, um, educated natural, you just didn't see me reapply. <laughs> I just went in the bathroom and did it. Okay. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Tanya. Hey, Tanya D. Welcome in, Queen. Thank you, Fabulous32. Okay, so I know that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But, yes, this is the gist of it. And I will, I'm going to fix it because this is what I'm probably going to wear for Thanksgiving. Just to have something different. Okay. I was trying to see if I could have feathered this front. Y'all, I'm looking over here because I can see um, in the camera, like, or what have you. But I shouldn't have cut this side too short. That's, like, bothering me. But it's okay because I can add the hair to it. So this is what um, the my, so when you put the paper, it protects your... Um, your mannequin head, okay? And I don't know if Love and Live is still in here, but Queen Lenore, this is what I was telling you. I had just put some masking tape just to hold this down, the bottom part of it, because it was flapping like this. It was flapping. So I just put that at the bottom so it can hold it down while I put the stocking caps on. But now I have hair like everywhere. I can use the vacuum for that. I just made like a whole heap of mess over here. But it's okay. I did it for y'all. Um, So if this was your first time watching my channel, welcome in. I appreciate you guys for being here, for stopping by, uh, pressing the like button on your way in or out. 
subscribe if these are the things that you like to see uniquely made stuff over here i used to say the word g-h-t-e-t-t-o but they told me not to do that no more so uniquely made and um we, we like to have a good time and also share me out if you're if you're able to share me out um and yeah subscribe if you like it i guess i mean you don't have to but if you want to you can okay okay i love y'all and um i guess i will see you guys on the next video and i just want to say thank you all thank you all don't forget 755 is um down right now but y'all pray for her keep her in your prayers um and don't forget to pray for the help y'all remember what i said early in the video if you, you know, see it in your heart to send me one dollar cash app to help somebody else, please do so. Dollar sign R B I A S. And um, for the the ones that did donate, my email address is in my bio, and it's also linked to this video. You can send me an email with your email address so i can thank you know i can send you the link when i do give this person the donations so that they know where it come from if you want to re um uh remain anonymous it's okay i'm i'm okay with that as well um but yeah y'all thank y'all for staying this whole time um and everything i love y'all thank you you knew <laughs> Big rooster, we get up. Um, thank you, Miss Deborah. You can feather it, yeah. The front, um, Elizabeth. She wait till you get my age. Oh, you'll have the stand Stanford and Son drawers for your glasses. Okay, big rooster. Yeah, I have to put these on, baby. I just, I mean, like, I can't see worth the. I mean, I can see, like far away, I can see. But when I'm looking at this phone, mm -mm. it'll call Tyrone because I can't see. Mm -mm. But um, thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, feather the front. Okay, yeah. When I go, when I can, you know. But baby, I'm about to take this off. Let me tell you one thing about wigs and me. We don't get along because they start making me have a headache. okay <laughs> but um what else i wanted to tell don't forget the lava thon is no uh november the 19th um check out some of these channels and y'all start sharing out their thumbnail because i'm sure after this video they have all made thumbnails okay okay so let me stir y'all up on my way out y'all look at this mess i got a whole I got a whole lot of hair on the floor. Did y'all say I can use my vacuum? I didn't see. Let me see. Somebody said I can use my vacuum. Did y'all say I can use the vacuum to get this hair up? I'm probably going to have to. Big rooster, you have to relax. Oh, okay. Um. I have to sweep up most of it and then I probably could vacuum the rest. Okay. I love y'all and um thank y'all for stopping by. Thank y'all for hitting the like button. Thank y'all for being here. Right. Okay. Purple Patch Crew one time. Hashtag Purple Patch Crew before we get out of here. Let's see. They got 24 people in the chat. Hashtag Purple Patch Crew. Let's go. You knew. Have a great night, Queen. Thank you for stopping by and sharing me out. Whoop, whoop. Purple Patch Crew. Whoop. Oh, wait. Let me let me stir y'all up. Whoop, whoop. Purple Patch Crew. Whoop, whoop. Purple Patch Crew. Okay. <laughs> ah. Y'all. I mean, she is cute or whatever, or whatever. I just got to, you know, 
play with her just a little bit, okay? I'm not going to lie. Probably my head got big, bigger. It was already big, but it probably got bigger. And that's why I can't fit this wig. I know my hair got big too, but my head, I mean, you know. I got a big head. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Big heads rule the world, okay? Oh, we got, oh, we got, oh, we got the bud files. Hey, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Um, so yeah, y'all. Don't forget the live thon November the 19th is coming up. And I guess I'm gonna see y'all on Tuesday for So Up to Glow Up Tuesdays. Now, what I'm gonna do, I don't know. What y'all want me to do? I got to think of something. I got to think of something. Okay. Y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to go? Y'all not ready to go. I know y'all got to go to work. I'm going to let y'all 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 go to work. Go to work, go to work, go to work. Go to sleep so you can go to work. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I'm just acting silly, but we did get this wig on, baby. You see them them locks is underneath this wig here. It's hard as a rock, like my hair, like it's hard. But we did get it under there. Tell somebody we got them locks up under there, baby. Now, okay, okay. <laughs> Give me some video ideas. My skits get me in trouble. Um, the Educated Natural, I would do a skit. I would do another one. Period. Um, drop the link so I can help you with that computer. Okay, Big Rooster. Let me see. Okay, let me scoop you. Because I can't be standing up. I got these doggone tight thingies on. Okay, wait. Let me see. And I'm sorry, I didn't know that y'all could see that at that time or whatever. The educated natural say no. Yes, do another one. Don't mind them, girl. Do another one. Y'all don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Oh, I forgot. I am home. <laughs> I am at home. Yes, do another skit. There you go. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good night, Miss Lena. Appreciate you being here, Queen. Wait, my glass is dirty, too. Okay, y'all, big rooster here. Now, where you going to be at? Let me see. How am I going to do this? Big rooster, don't you come over here um, making me start, you know, sounding like a... Make... You can hear the echo? Yeah, I hear the echo. Can you hear it? Yep. Do y'all hear echo? Yep. No, in the chat. Yep. They saying yes? Okay, let me mute myself. Go ahead and say what you got to say. No, no, no. I was coming to help you with the computer. I wasn't coming to uh, go on your live. <laughs> oh, so what I got to do, take you off? When, whenever, yeah, whenever you finish the live, just don't, don't close out. Uh... Okay, hold on. Okay, y'all. I don't know if it's still an echo, but I'm going I'm to end the live so Big Rooster can help me with my computer. And um, I'll talk to y'all on Tuesday. If anybody need anything from me, my, my email address is in the link of the bio and on under this video. And all the stuff that I used is um, in, the, in the link of this video. And yes, it's affiliated with Amazon. So it don't cost you nothing. 
But if you click on it and you buy something that is I'm affiliated with, I get a little something, something. Help your girl out. Okay. I love y'all. And have a good night.